Hey guys, in this video I'd like to go over how to use Pythagorean Theorem to help you find uh, the perimeter of shapes. So uh, as a reminder, the way you find perimeter of something is by adding up all of the side lengths. So if we have a trapezoid here and we want to find the perimeter of it, we would have to add up this side length, this side length, this side length, and this side length. And that's not really that hard to do for the vertical and horizontal side lengths. Um, because we can actually count them. So this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. And then the base is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So these ones were pretty easy to count. So we were almost done finding the perimeter. However, counting the diagonal of this is challenging. See how the line kind of passes through like partial grids? We can't use the same method of counting, but what we can do is create a triangle out of this and then use Pythagorean theorem to solve. So if we just draw a line right down here and then make this a triangle right here, what we can do is use Pythagorean theorem, which uh, as a reminder, I'll write it up here, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And a helpful hint is whenever solving these type of problems, I always think it's kind of smart to write the formula above and then fill in the values as you go. So speaking of which, I'm gonna take uh, this triangle and I like to move it out of the grid and just draw it off to the side here so that you can focus on the triangle itself and not any of the other values that might kind of get in the way or cloud the picture a little bit. So I'm taking that triangle out of this trapezoid and drawing it over here. Now I know it's a right triangle because it, it goes up at 90 degrees and the height of this is gonna be eight. We know this because of this value over here. Now the base of this triangle is one, two, three, four, five, six. So now we just need to find this side length, which we don't know, we'll call it C because it's a hypotenuse. Well, we're gonna use this formula and it doesn't matter which numbers we plug in for A and B, but this longest side length, which is opposite of the 90 degree is always letter C. So we'll set this up by doing this. We'll say uh, eight squared plus six squared is equal to C squared. And this is 64 plus 36 is equal to C squared. After combining like terms, we get 100 is equal to C squared. And then if we take the square root of this side to isolate C to keep it balanced, we take the square root of this side and we get C is equal to 10. So I know the missing side length is 10, and then that means the side length of this trapezoid is 10. If I add them all up to find the perimeter now, eight plus eight is 16, plus 10 is 26, plus 14 is 40 units. Now, I wanna kind of show you a shortcut, because I think in math, looking for shortcuts is a great strategy. Um, I knew the answer was 10 without having to do all of this work, and I think it would be awesome if you guys could do the same thing. The most popular and common Pythagorean theorem triangle is the three, four, five triangle. And what this is, is if you have a triangle with side lengths three and four, the last side length will be five. And it's pretty easy to show mathematically, horrible triangle, but let me just show you. If we have three squared plus four squared, is this equal to five squared? So three squared is nine, uh, six, four squared is 16, and five squared is 25. When you add these together, you get 25 equals 25. So this triangle works and it is the most common one. Now it works as a three, four, five triangle or scaled up versions of it. Like this would work if you had a triangle that had side lengths 30, 40, and I'd like you to think for a second what the, the other side length would be. And hopefully you determine that it is 50, but it could work at smaller variations of this too. Like if we doubled it, if we have a six, eight, then the last side length would be 10. We could have a tripled version and have a nine, 12, and 15. So if I were you, I would be on the constant lookout for the ratios that match this, a three, four, five. In any variation, it could save you all of this work over here. If you recognize that this is a six, eight, 10 triangle, you wouldn't have needed to done this. Try to memorize the three, four, five triangle. It will be helpful for you. All right, let's move on to one more example and then we'll be finished up. All right, in this example here, we have a shape. It is a triangle. It is not a right triangle though. And Pythagorean theorem, again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared can only be done on right triangles. 
Now, when finding the perimeter of the shape, we can count the base. That's pretty easy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the height of this is, we can't count it because it's on a diagonal. But what we can do is create a right triangle by drawing a vertical line right down the middle of this. Now, this is called an isosceles triangle because two of the side lengths are the same. But when we split this isosceles triangle in half, what we've done is created two right triangles. And what we're going to do is draw one of those right triangles off to the side. Again, I think it's nice because it just doesn't cloud the picture when you can, you can kind of focus on only the side lengths over here and not any unnecessary information. All right, so once I have this drawn, I'm going to fill in the values that I know. I don't know this side length. We'll call that C. I know that the base is 10, but we split this in half, so half the base would be 5. But now I can count the height of this triangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we have our values. So this one is nice because we don't have to do too much. Uh, we just have to set up Pythagorean Theorem, which we've got here, and we'll start. We've got 5 squared plus 12 squared is equal to C squared. And 5 squared is 25 plus 12 squared, which is 144. And then when you combine like terms, you get 169 equals C squared. And then if you take the square root of this to isolate C, you get C. And then you take the square root of this, you get 13. So the missing side length, or C, is 13. Now, that doesn't mean the answer is 13. Remember, our goal is to find the perimeter of this shape, which requires us to add up all the sides. But that did help us because now we know that this side is worth 13 and that this side is also 13. So to find the perimeter of this, we'll do 13 plus 13, which is 26 plus 10. So this triangle has a total perimeter of 36 units. All right, I hope the video helped. Key strategies that I would take away from this are if the shape given doesn't have a right triangle in it, create one. Whether you have to cut the shape in half or back to the trapezoid problem, you kind of just like cut off a piece of the shape. And then once you do that, draw that shape off to the side, fill in the values you know, use Pythagorean theorem, work straight down till you find the side length that you need. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.